Welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be making a recipe that my grandmother used to make and that my mom still makes. We are making my mama's meat sauce. Now we are not Italian, but this is my favorite spaghetti sauce. And I've done a couple tweaks over the years than what my mom does, but it's a super easy recipe to put together. And once it starts simmering, you don't have to do any work. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So please consider hitting subscribe and let's get started. So the one big change that I do with my meat sauce that my mom doesn't do is I use the crock pot for it. Mom would start the sauce in the morning, cook it all day. Lots of times I remember it cooking overnight or cooking late and then being turned off and turned on again the next morning to cook the next day to thicken. I do it in the crock pot, less for me to watch and babysit. And today I'm probably gonna cook it all day today and then I'm probably gonna cook it some more once more the day I use it, which is actually for us gonna be Thanksgiving this year because I don't wanna do a turkey. So I'm gonna cook it all day today. I'm gonna cook it some more on the day I use it. So I'll pop it in the fridge until I need it for that. So let's get this prepped, put this to the side. First, what we're gonna do is get our vegetables together. I've got one and a half bell peppers. This one's a little wrinkly, but it'll be fine for the sauce. I usually have one large bell pepper. Mom always used green. I tend to use red, yellow, or orange, whatever I have. So one large bell pepper, one and a half is fine. One large onion. I've got a medium sized onion there, or what I consider a medium sized onion, and an extra half. I'm using canned mushrooms. Some people don't like canned mushrooms. We like canned mushrooms in the house, and this is what I grew up on. So I'm using this partially because I don't have fresh in the house. If you have fresh mushrooms, then by all means, you wanna use about an eight ounce container of them and you want them sliced. If you don't like mushrooms at all, leave them out. This is a four ounce can. Lots of times I'll just add four ounces and not add the extra four ounce can. So I'm gonna chop all this stuff up and the mushrooms I will add when I put the sauce together. If you are using fresh, then you want this all ready to go together. To a large skillet, I have one pound of ground beef. Use anywhere between a pound and a pound and a half, whatever you have. Sometimes I have a bigger package of it. This is one of those prepackaged that you can tell by the square. So I'm gonna chop up my onions and my peppers. Then I'm gonna add it to the skillet with the ground beef and I'm gonna saute it all together until the ground beef is cooked and I will drain it if needed. This is pretty lean, so I may not need to drain it. So let me get this chopped up. You guys don't need to watch that, and let's jump ahead. All right, so everything is chopped up and in the pan. I'm gonna cook this over medium-high heat until the hamburger is cooked through and browned. I've got my meat chopper here. I really do like this. I use this all the time for ground beef and for ground sausage. Works great. I will link below if that's something you wanna look into. So let's get this cooked off and we'll get to our next meat in the meat sauce. So the other meat in my meat sauce is Italian sausage. I'm using sweet today. I will use sweet or mild. My mom always did some sweet and some hot, but Tara doesn't like hot sausage, so I'll just do sweet or mild, whichever I have in the house. This is a pound, do one to two pounds. Do whatever you like. I cook this ahead of time. Mom always cooked it in a skillet, but I find that roasting it in the oven is faster and less mess. So I took it out of the package. I put it in my Pyrex dish, nothing else in it. Like I didn't put any oil or anything. I just put it in the dish, turned my oven on to 375 degrees and cooked it for 30 minutes. Everything should be cooked through. And if it's not, it's gonna cook for hours in the sauce. So it'll be done. So let's get this sliced up. I just slice it into coins. And it looks like that 375 for a half hour, everything is cooked perfectly. It just cuts easier when it's cooked. I can get thinner slices so I can make it look like more sausage. And if you like turkey sausage, you could use that, I'm sure. This is pork. All right, canned mushrooms, I just 
ran a knife through them just a few times just to make some of them a little smaller. You don't have to do that, but it'll just stretch the mushrooms out a little bit more and put more of them in the sauce. Let's move this to the side. So for the tomatoes in my sauce, I use crushed tomatoes. I use whatever brand I can get at a, at a good price. So use whatever can crush tomatoes that you like best. So I'm gonna add three 28 ounce cans. And the reason I use three of them is because that's what fits in here. If I could get another can in there, I would. So the crushed tomatoes are going in. The tomatoes are in the crock pot insert. So let's add the sausage in. I'm gonna add in my mushrooms. So now that these are in here, I've got to finish up my beef, peppers, and onions, and then we'll add that to the mix as well as some seasonings. So here's our ground beef, peppers, and onions. They're pretty well cooked. The one thing I am going to do now is I'm going to add some garlic, and I don't even have an amount, guys. I'm going to add a great big spoonful and any of the juices that come out. Now I'll give it a big stir. And mom always used and still uses garlic powder, so by all means, you could do that. Um, if you want to use fresh, use fresh. I've done that. The jarred stuff I'm putting in now, just so some of that jarred taste cooks out of it. All right, let's get this added to the sauce as well. In goes all the hamburger meat, peppers, onions, and garlic. I did not have to drain it. There's a little bit of fat, but that'll be okay. That'll add some flavor. All right, let's give it a big mix. Get everything stirred in. And I could probably actually squeeze another 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes in there, but I'm not going to. Mom always used tomato paste in it for years, especially on the stove, because it would be thicker. But we have both found that we don't really need it, especially if you're cooking it down. Okay, so now we need to season it up. I did not season the beef, so I'm gonna season everything here. The salt, I am gonna go pretty heavy on everything because that's a lot of sauce. So adjust your seasonings to taste. If you're using garlic powder, mom probably uses one and a half to two teaspoons of garlic powder. So I'm gonna do salt. And I always remember when she would make, when she makes this, is that I can usually see the seasonings on the top. So I can see the salt. So we're gonna call that good. I can adjust it later if I need to. Pepper. Mom actually doesn't use this, but I do. I use Italian seasoning in it. One to two teaspoons. And I've been known to add more of that later on if I don't think it has enough. If your family likes spicy, you can add some crushed red pepper. Tara doesn't do spicy, as I said earlier, so I will just add some to whatever pasta we have. Another big mix. Okay, so now that everything's in the liner, I'm going to transfer the liner over to my crock pot. And for cooking this, if you were going to serve this day of, you want to go anywhere from eight to 12 hours, you know, somewhere in there. It'll be fine, it'll be cooked through. That gives it all day to simmer. Again, I'm gonna cook it for probably that long, maybe a little longer today. And then I'm gonna cool it as best I can and then pop it in the fridge and I'm gonna cook it a little bit longer on the day I need it. I like a thick sauce and while this is thick, of course, as it starts simmering, it's gonna separate some, your liquids are gonna come to the top. So I want some of that water to evaporate. So what I do is I'm gonna put it in the slow cooker and I'm gonna turn the slow cooker on to high. Once it comes up to a super fast simmer slash boil, then I'm gonna turn it to low. I'm also gonna leave the lid slightly ajar because I want that steam to evaporate. I don't want it stuck in the pot like you usually want everything in a slow cooker. So let's get that set up. And you know, I'm gonna put the lid on it I'll show you what I do for the lid on mine, and then we're gonna jump ahead to the next day because I'm gonna show you what the finished product is. All right, guys, so the crock pot isn't at a great angle for the video, but I do have it lifted up so it doesn't seal. So there's a gap here that you might, that you can probably see, and of course it's gapped around in other places as well. So this is on high. As soon as I notice that it's up to a really, really fast simmer slash boil, I'll give it a good stir and then I will bump it down to low. And I'll stir it every so often, once an hour or so, just keep everything in there moving around. And I'm gonna simmer it until I think it's done. So let's get this cooked off and show you what it looks like. Good morning, guys. So it is actually 
Thursday at Thanksgiving morning and my sauce is done. We're actually having spaghetti pie for Thanksgiving dinner and not turkey today. So this is the container of the sauce. There's actually two of them is what it gave me. I cooked it all day on Tuesday. I shut it off. I think I started filming around eight or so. Turned it off at about seven so it would have time to cool so I could put it in the fridge overnight. So I transferred these containers. Look at how thick that sauce is. It's super thick. Part of the reason is because it's cold because I just took it out of the fridge. I am going to put it back in the crock pot and cook it for the rest of the day. Probably it's about 8.30 now. I'm probably gonna cook it till about three or 3.30, somewhere in there um, until I actually make dinner. And then I'll cool it off and freeze what I need to. I'll usually freeze it in batches that I need for meals or we'll hold a little bit off in the fridge if we're gonna have some pasta again. So that's my mama's meat sauce recipe. We use it for spaghetti, we use it for lasagna. We use it, my mom has actually used it on pizza, which is not my favorite way to use it, but it can be used as that. But I'm gonna put it in the crock pot, start it on high, down to low, cook it the rest of the day. Totally done on the first day if you wanna go that route not gonna hurt anything. You get that nice slow simmer all day, so it's done. But that's my mama's sauce. That's all I've got for you guys today. Please leave me in comments below. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.